for a walk and we're down in a little area that's called the valley in Bolton. We thought we'd just have a look around and we've done before the, the site of where Astley Bridge goods station used to be which is now a McDonald's drive through and there's some elements of uh, the former railway architecture that we showed there still in existence. It's an area that I thought I might show you a little bit of uh, because you might not necessarily know even just driving past here but this used to be a railway station and it was uh, well latterly known as Astley Bridge Goods Station but certainly when it was first built by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway it came from a junction that's uh, at Tongue Mall where you can still see the two viaducts splitting and parting the company and the second of the viaducts that's there now still covered in trees this is where it ultimately ended up and at the end of the branch here Lancashire and Yorkshire built an actual passenger station but it was only open to passengers for a period of maybe 12 months, two years at most it was never well patronised and the reason for that was because the electric trams ran along this road as well and they were a good deal cheaper and actually quicker so people tended to use them but that wasn't the end of the station right up until into the 1960s you can actually dispatch goods all around the country from here um, I've, it's been actually very very elusive in photographs I've never really seen a picture of what this looked like in railway use but it's um, there's a, a McDonald's drive-through being built on the site now and a lot of it's filled in but you can see over there the really heavy duty stone built wall that really does mark this out as be, having been a former railway site. But that line actually went all the way back to um, Tung Mo, uh, where there's a junction on top of uh, a viaduct. Quite unusual, the viaduct actually splits um, and there used to be a signal box in the centre. But this really is the end of the line for the Astley Bridge branch and you can see here how the second viaduct that was a later addition to the original main bolt to Blackburn railway line has been just grafted in and it, it's no more apparent than here right at the very end the way it's just filleted in you can see through this archway here how narrow this second viaduct becomes as it tails in and it's just interesting to see how they've adapted the stonework just to, to fit into here and it's it's something that I've never really seen modelled uh, I don't think there's a lot of examples of anything quite like this and you can see there the way it's just all really quite tightly facing together and it is interesting to see that really the, re the main reason that this junction is grafted on like this is because this second viaduct, the one that you see on the left hand side here, was added very much as an afterthought. Uh, the branch up to Astley Bridge was built during the railway mania period and wasn't successful as a passenger branch. It couldn't compete with the trams uh, which were far cheaper, far quicker and indeed within a year had gone over to goods only service. But you know, there was never an idea to build anything here until they changed their plans. So you, what you see as a result is this grafted on viaduct and it's I, I've not really seen anything even remotely like this anywhere else in the country. Now we're, we're beneath the original uh, viaduct here and you can see there the kind of plug where the newer viaduct springs away from it. But just over here, I thought these might be quite interesting these big lumps of stone, if I'm remembering this correctly, are actually what the structure, the wooden structure that would have gone in here to hold the arch as they built it, that's what these would have been. Uh, then it had a kind of a scaffold thing in here so that whilst the cement was setting it would have held up the structure of the arch. And obviously once the structure is built and dismantled uh, from within, you still left with these quite substantial pieces of stone that would have held that wooden structure. It's a hell of a structure here when you look at how thin it becomes at the point that the viaduct tails right off. Uh, all that really to support nothing more up there than the parapet wall for the, the viaduct. But when the Victorians built something they didn't mess about. They built it right first time and they built it to last. And that's what you're seeing here even though that line up there has been disused since probably about 1971, something like that. And it seems a shame to leave such a, what would have been a very expensive structure back in the day, just to, to be nothing more than a, a garden full of um, saplings and uh, undergrowth up there. But 
you know, it's just a shame that you can't use it for anything else. But in between Astley Bridge Goods Station and that junction, there also used to be Halliwell Goods Station. So we're just going to have a look up here and see if we can find any trace of that old railway line still left. Um, I believe that certainly the last bit of it was probably gone by the early 60s and the rest of the route was closed by early 1970s. Let's go and have a look. But you see here, just about this, it's not really railway related in the slightest. But what you can see is that this tree has been left to go so overgrown for so long. It's enveloped the curb stone in. It's just, it's, you couldn't have sculpted it like this if you tried. And you actually see the roots coming along in the cobbles as well. Um, probably doesn't get an awful lot of traffic on this road. But you can see the attention to detail in the, com uh, the cobblestone work where we've got like a diagonal uh, run there and I think that's more to do with when it rains the water might run down here at a high rate of knots and that's to try and deflect it over to the guttering. And then we've got a little bit of a retaining wall along here but there's nothing really that's obvious as being of railway origin but certainly we go to the top and there might be something like what's left of an old bridge um, won't know until we get there. So let's go and take a look. I think as well this might have been one of the little access roads down to used to be I think there may have been mills or something down here but it's been uh, I, I suspect it was level when it was uh, originally built but the the land's kind of slumped a little bit so the road's on quite an angle going down that way but the cobblestone work is actually still fairly level it's not all heaved up which shows that it was probably pretty well put together when it was first uh, put in here. Well, you can see here, the path comes around fairly tightly and then I think what's here, what may have once been here, would have actually been a fairly low arched bridge made out of stone most likely. So we can see this retaining wall ends here and what's left of the bank and there's a lot of gravel and clinker and stuff like that in the ground. And I think this is the actual railway embankment but as for the bridge, all trace of it's completely gone. The stone's been rubbed out. They're probably pretty large pieces of stone. Not unlike that one single piece that's left just up there, upright. And, uh, and they've been taken out and sold on, reused elsewhere. And all that's left of what would have once been a railway bridge is just this sort of sunken path. So what we've got here is probably one of the original pieces of stone, one of the capping pieces. It's not in its original location because it's been put on its side. And uh, on this side there's a little piece. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like some kind of metal plate and I'm not sure really of the significance of it. Uh, but certainly it looks to me like it's an original piece of whatever used to be here. But there's not a lot left. It's actually really difficult to follow where this railway line used to go. The area's just been so heavily redeveloped. This little hump in the road and this space running between the terraced houses is actually much more likely to be the path of where the railway went. But it's so difficult to tell. I'm going to have to go back and look at some old maps and see what I can work out. But I'm now thinking that this, this is where it used to be, but I'm not entirely sure to be honest so difficult. Well we've got home and had a look through some ordnance survey maps of the area uh, going back quite a way. Now we've got one here from uh, it says uh, published 1961 so this uh, some of you who uh, collect older maps uh, will recognize the one inch seventh series ordnance survey maps and this one's in Manchester it's been around a little bit but uh, you can still take a look and what we can see in this area is, here's Bolton, and we can see marks by this time as um, just the, the goods only line going all the way through at this point to the Astley Bridge area where the McDonald's drive through now is. And what we can see is the little path that we went up, see if I can find a little pointer just to show, the little path we went up is there. And where we turned right and we thought that it, they'd grubbed out all trace of the bridge, what this actually shows is that wasn't the bridge. In fact, when we walked a little bit further up that road and there was something of a hump in the actual road structure, we had an adventure playground on the right and uh, people's gardens on the left. What this actually shows 
is that very much was where the railway went. And then it curved round and ended not that far away in the Astley Bridge uh, goods station. Now, if we put this map to one side and we move up to... Um, to the Land Ranger 1 to 50,000 series, which are probably more familiar, this particular copy, it says to be from 1983. Um, however, I don't believe it's entirely accurate uh, in terms of showing the railway at that date, because if we look here, 1983 revision, it's still showing a railway line coming here from the junction and tongue viaduct and all the way up to here at Halliwell Goods Station. The railway beyond that is shown as disused at this point, but from memory of looking at photographs online of the line here on the viaduct, I believe that actually it closed in around the early 1970s, so not strictly accurate, but again, the track of the disused railway line still shows quite clearly that that little hump in the road was the bridge that we were looking for. And the bridge itself is probably still underneath there, um, as these things usually are, is filled in, parapets taken off, and if you dug down, if you were ever minded to, you'd probably find traces of the railway down there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little walk out there in the countryside, looking for a little bit of the industrial railway heritage of the Bolton area. Some of you did ask for me to uh, do a bit more exploring of disused railway lines. Well, here in Bolton, uh, there's not actually that many, so uh, the Astley Bridge Goods Branch is probably the closest that we get within very close walking distance to here. So I hope it's been informative to you. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to like this video, share it too, and subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when we put them up. Anyway, thank you for watching and until next time you take very, very good care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.